Hey everyone, I'm Kristen and this is a Moose Morning. Um, I am making brownies today, but I already mixed them all up and put them in the oven. I had a whole nother episode or video recorded and something happened and it didn't save. So, I they're already in the oven. Um, I just followed the instructions on the box. Um, they are just regular brownies. I don't know where the box went. It's underneath my table um, or beside it. It's somewhere. Um, just normal brownies that I put a little bit of um, orange juice in to make it kind of taste like oranges. That notification is nothing. It actually is about a recipe that I was really excited in. Um, they finally updated it, which hopefully if I can, there's tequila. That's my dog right there. Right there. He's a good boy. Tequila. Hi. What are you doing? Come here. Let me grab him. So this is tequila. He's a good boy. This is actually his first collar on my wrist. Um, try to keep his decency um, instead of flaunting everything to the world. Let me turn down my brightness again. I found that that kind of helps. Um, but yeah, this is Tequila. He's a mama's boy, that's for sure. Um, that's besides the point. I was talking about brownies. Uh, <laughs> they're in the oven. They are going to be in there for a total of 28 minutes. My dog is sitting his butt on my face. I'm going to have to put him back on the ground. There you go. Um, I have a timer set for 28 minutes. There is 17 minutes left. 18. Can't really see that. And yes, yeah, that didn't work. Um, but there is 17 minutes left. Um, I guess I will just talk about nonsense until then. Don't see why not. Or I can just pause it and... I will get back to you guys when the dog's got the zoomies. It's running back and forth. The other black dog over there, that's Penny. I have a lot of dogs, four total. There's Rella, she's blonde. Leonard, he's blonde. Um, Penny is black and tan. She's part miniature pincher, um, so she looks like a little Doberman. And then there's Tequila, who you just met, who is black, white, and tan. Um, they are all Chihuahua breeds, because we like small dogs, apparently. Um, I also have three cats that probably will never be part of this. Penny, come here. You guys are going to meet Penny here. This is Penny. She's a good girl. She doesn't like me very much, so she probably won't be in videos if I'm recording them while other people are home. Penny, stop it. Um, she only sits with me. There's Leonard. Um, she only sits with me when um, nobody else is home. And even then, it's a 50-50 chance on if she wants to sit across the room from me or right next to me. Come here, boo-boo. This is Leonard. Um, he likes to give people kisses, and he's weird. Um, he is basically my son, or my husband, whichever you prefer. Not that we call us anything other than he is Leonard, and I am Kristen. Um, he just sleeps next to me 90% of the time. Um, he's a good boy, too. They're all good. Um, except for when they bark when I'm trying to do stuff, or sleep, for that matter. Um, yeah. This is what they do all day. All four of them. They just sit around licking each other, being weird. You say hi, Woo Woo? He's got a lot of nicknames. Him and Tequila both. Um, but, I mean, if I could get Rella out here, I'd show you her. But it's hard to hold three dogs at once, and these two seem to be 
wanting to be held the most. Rella is actually out there playing with tequila as we speak. Um, which, if you hear music, um, I do not own the rights to the music. It is on Pandora. My dogs were being naughty earlier, and they're quiet when music plays, so I put on music. Um, yeah. So, I have my Facebook. This is very distracting. All this nonsense. Um, there is a Facebook page. Look! That cat right there, um, that is Milo. He is my sister's cat. There's Keela. There's Rella over there drinking some water. Um, Rella, come here. I'm going to put you guys down. I'll try to get her eventually. Um... But I do have my Facebook. I will put a link down in the description. And if you guys could go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on you guys and Rella at the same time. And she just ran away. Um, as of right now, there is still 13 minutes until my brownies are done or until I have to check them um, So next time I do this I will definitely try to Save my video. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, I recorded a bunch of it and then my computer turned off um, And then it wasn't there anymore. So we will Hopefully be able to You know figure that out and keep my computer from turning off. Um, I think it might have just got too warm. Um, it does that sometimes. The fan in it is broken. There's brownie mix all over my laptop. Um, I am going to pause this and I will be back whenever I can get Rella to cooperate so you can meet her. Um, and then I will pause it again and I will be back when the brownies are done, um, which kind of annoys me because I had a whole um, tour, if you will, of my kitchen and my, we call it our breakfast nook, it's where all our dishes and stuff are, um, I guess that's fine, you don't need to see that, not yet, you'll see it anyways, alright, so I'm going to put this Alright, so let's unpause this for just a second. I have not moved, but my dogs were being naughty. Um, they were barking at nothing the way that chihuahuas do. But, conveniently, there is a Bella out here. Where she was. There she goes. As always, you know, she tries to stay away from me as well. Um, these dogs are crazy, and they don't like to sit next to me, even though I'm the one that pets them the most. Um, so I'm going to go back and pause this again, um, not because they're being bad, but because that's what I said I was going to do. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, so I've only been away for a couple minutes now, but I finally got Rella to be next to me. She looks scared as crap, but she's a good girl as well. Like I said, they're all good. They're all dogs. They're all heavenly. I love them all. Um, but this is Rella. She's our oldest. Um, she is part Boston Terrier, which include, which is why she has the black nose, the black eyes, and the black lips. Um, but yeah, that's Rella. Um, not really anything else to say about that, but I will be back again in just a few minutes. I have... There's still about seven minutes left on the timer, so I will be back when it is time to poke them with the stick, see if they're done in the middle, and I will let you know. Alright, so my timer just went off, which means our brownies are ready to check. Let me go and grab a little skewer to poke them with, which I guess you're getting a little tour. Anyways, this is really awkward to do with a laptop. It makes it very 
uncomfortable. Um, there's all our cake pans. I'll use those eventually for videos. Don't mind the random tub of tomato juice. Um, that I have no idea where it came from. This is our random assortment of decorating stuff. There's my skewer, so let's grab one of those. Skewer for poking things. Everybody likes to poke stuff. Um, that's basically the it, it for my kitchenette area. Big freezer, kitty litter, microwave, and um, whatever that's called, coffee maker, and also a toaster. Um, big freezer has our compost stuff on it, our refrigerator, um, and that is our stove and oven. It's old. It's older than I am, I'm pretty sure. So there's that. Our, looks like our brownies might be almost done, if not all the way done. They've puffed up. I did put them in a round pan because I already explained this in the other video that got deleted, but the only other pan we had was square and glass, and I don't like to use glass if I don't have to. So there's our brownies. They're still, they look doughy on top, but they're not. So you always go in on an angle. Those are very not done. Um, so I guess I'm going to just bump up the timer a couple minutes um, until these are not like this. Um, so I will do that. And I'm going to pick you guys up again. There's our kitchen. A little bit of it. Um, a really old sink that is older than I am. Um, Built-ins over there. This house is and was one of the oldest houses in East Jordan. Um which is the little town that I live in back when East Jordan was still a lumber mill town, not a um, iron pouring whatever nonsense that is. So I am going to add five minutes on my timer and I will be back when it is time to check them again. So hopefully they don't turn back out like this. You're supposed to do it until they come out clean. So we will see. Okay, so it is time to check them one more time. Um, my, my house smells like brownies, so I'm imagining they're probably done this time. But I got a new skewer. There's the oven. New skewer. Open. Because I need a oven mitt. Not going the same way that we went in before. Turn it around. Pull it out. It is still a little dirty. Not dirty, but um, not done. I guess I said dirty because your stick's supposed to come out clean. Um, but we're going to just set it up on top, put the rack back in, and close this up, turn off the oven. Um, basically, I am going to let those cool, and then I will be back. I will cut them up for you guys, and I will try them, see if any of the orange came through. But there is orange juice in them, um, so I will be back in a few minutes. Alright, so brownies still aren't cool, it's been about five minutes, but I ended up getting all my dogs on my lap, which they're not happy about. <laughs> okay, so this is the one downfall of having four dogs. They see something outside, they all have to bark, so I'm sorry if that was loud. Um, I will put a note in the description, I guess, warning you guys that it's going to be loud. Little thought there, um, but somebody pulled into our driveway, so I will be right back. Okay, so sorry again for the loudness. Um, I just washed my hands and I already touched my hair. Our brownies are done. Um, this is my mom's knife. It's beautiful, nice and rainbowy. 
My mom's obsessed with rainbows. Um, there's a dog smelling my brownies. Stop it, tequila. So I am going to cut these up. They're still a little warm. Uh, the pan is not too hot to touch, though. Um, don't let my sleeved arm tell you differently. Tequila, stop. But I am going to cut these up and give them a taste and let you guys know if the orange juice came through. Um, by the smell, it did not. But we will see. Let me see if I can get better. There. Okay, so we're going to just, I don't know, cut it like pie. Should I cut it in squares? I don't want to make anybody angry. You know, OCD and all that. Um, as of right now, it looks like it is pretty done. I'm going to cut it like a pie. I know it's a brownie, but it's in a circle tin, and I don't like when my corner pieces are not corners. You know, um, that's my little bit of OCD there. So we're almost done here. Um, whoops, lost some brownie. Just a little chunk, not enough to hurt anybody. All right, so pieces are cut. It's not the best, but there's eight pieces. I could cut them smaller. But I'm not going to. Um, let's pan this back up. Get it back to where it needs to be. And I am going to take the smallest piece out of here and give it a taste. Which it doesn't look like it wants to come out, so I might have to go get a fork. The smallest hint of orange in there. Um, it's not bad. It actually tastes really good. And these brownies are... You know, just a dollar, you know, name, uh, not name brand, but um, store brand. Um, so it just goes to prove that a brownie is a brownie no matter what, depending on what you're looking for. So I'm going to pause this and go get a fork so that I can get this brownie out. All right, so I have my fork, I have my knife. I'm going to get this brownie out no matter what it takes, even if it breaks. Um, I guess I should have done it in a square pattern. Um, I don't like the crispy part on the outside, but I am willing to try um, anything really, as long as it's for YouTube, I guess. Alright, so it fell apart, but there it is. Um, not a very good camera again, so it makes it difficult. But there's that. Let me take a little bite. Oh, the inside is very hot. Just kind of tastes like brownie with um, a little bit of orange juice, which is fine. I mean, I didn't put very much orange juice in it. I mean, I could have put more. It would have made it taste a little bit more like orange. Or if I could have got orange extract, which is basically orange juice. So how much more extract can you get besides a couple orange shoes? Um, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for sticking with me through my technical malfunctions and my dogs being jerks. Um, I will be uploading this or uploading a new video tomorrow. So go ahead and check that out. Um, so go ahead and like and comment or whatever on this video. Uh, find a moose morning on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. And thank you again for tuning in. Bye.